Well, good afternoon. It's Good Friday. I just finished my online, or Zoom actually, Good Friday service. I'm still struggling with Zoom. For some reason it didn't record it. Um, I think I had one participant, but I'm kind of disappointed. But I'm learning. Today's daily devotional from the Still Speaking Writers is written by Vince Amlin, and that he entitled it, You Didn't Have to Do That. And it's based on a selection from the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verses 16 through 18a. Then Pilate handed him over to be crucified. They took Jesus, and carrying the cross by himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, which in Hebrew is called Golgotha. There they crucified him. Vince writes, When my wife had to be hospitalized for an extended period, we were surprised at how many people showed up bearing gifts. A painter friend brought an icon for her be bedside table. A massage therapist rubbed her feet. Our landscaper arrived with the biggest fruit basket I've ever seen. Our response was always the same. You didn't have to do that. And we meant the presence. But also the showing up in this place where neither of us wanted to be in those long weeks of suffering. I used to believe that Jesus' death was remarkable for its brutality, that the awfulness of it was the point. God dies the worst death imaginable. That's what makes redemption work. Now, I know people die worse deaths all the time. The crucifixion is ugly, but I've seen uglier. So here's a heretical opinion. It didn't need to be the cross. It didn't need to be violent at all. Jesus could have died in his sleep, and it would have meant as much, because God didn't have to die at all. The remarkable thing, the redemptive thing, is that God showed up, unexpectedly, bearing the gift of human flesh, which can be flogged, crowned, and killed. Death was the natural conclusion of God's choice to live. The power of the crucifixion was present as soon as God showed up unnecessarily in this place where others were suffering. In Vince's prayer, you didn't have to do that. Thank you. And as I think about that, that is what unconditional love is. Showing up when it's most needed where there's suffering. And that's what God is doing in this time of isolation and suffering. Showing up. Showing up in the people who reach out and care for one another. Showing up in the health care workers who are actually risking their lives to try to save those who have come down with the disease and are struggling. Showing up. That's what God does every day in those around us showing up. That's what God does in you when you're present for others. You didn't have to do that, but I'm glad you did. Have a blessed day.